Welcome to the Inside Scoop. Let's dive into what's coming up in Kelders von Gaheima this October. There's plenty of mystery and drama in store, so stick around to find out all the twists waiting to unfold. If you enjoy these teasers, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button for more updates, and drop a comment letting us know what you're most excited about this month. But before we jump into the teasers, we want to send a big shout out to Abby Daniel. Thank you so much for your comment on the Onikon D Swakre teasers for September 2024 and for supporting our channel, The Inside Scoop. Abby, we hope you have a fantastic month ahead. Filled with even more of your favorite series. To the rest of you watching, we love hearing your thoughts, so don't be shy, drop us a comment, and who knows, you could get your own shout out in our next video. But for now, let's get into the teasers. Tuesday, October 1st, 2024 to Friday, October 4th, 2024. Starting the new month on Tuesday, October 1st, Veronique and CJ are extremely worried that Choppy might do something foolish after he finds out the complete truth regarding Mercy, and CJ makes a decision about what he should do next in life. Shireen and Edmund are still rubbing each other up the wrong way regarding the decisions they made that got them to their current crossroads. There seems to be a bit of breathing space on Subot's cliff now that the farm's problems have been solved, and Veronique gets a new henchman to do her dirty work. By Wednesday, October 2nd, Choppy tries his best to get through to CJ and is shocked to realize that there are a lot of things that have been hidden from him. Anton ensures that he starts entrenching himself into Edmund's life. Sandy wants to have a serious talk with Elroy, and she has a plan to ensure that Debbie Lee doesn't have to make a choice between her relationship and her family. Veronique forms an idea on how to keep Elroy under her spell when she sees something that she shouldn't. Next up, on Thursday, October 3rd, Philip and Allison's first meeting is a bit uncomfortable. Edmund receives a message that doesn't make sense to him. Junior might not be ready for the road ahead, and Sandy and Joey are very concerned about Debbie Lee's relationship. Veronique gives her henchman a deadly task, and Debbie Lee is not a fan of cheap perfume. Ending the week on Friday, October 4th, Debbie Lee wants to keep the previous night's incident to Captain Spook. CJ's guilt takes center stage and leads him to want more than just a tipple. Veronique receives an unexpected guest. Alistair's idea gets Edmund very excited, and Edmund thinks they have to involve him in. Devil starts to woo Sandy again. Monday, October 7, 2024 to Friday, October 11, 2024. Kicking off the new week on Monday, October 7, Joppy's plan to help CJ involves letters. Debbie Lee makes a shocking discovery regarding Elroy after she opens her heart completely to him. Allison officially begins to work as Junior's caretaker. Devil turns on the charm to get another date with Sandy. Veronique convinces Edmund to have her take a look at the farm's books. By Tuesday, October 8, Edmund is very impressed with Veronique's plan, so much so that he promises to talk to Devil and Rake about getting her access to the farm's accounts. Veronique is shocked by Alistair's new plan, as it involves Hermine. CJ and Choppy return to Subot's Clough. Debbie Lee makes a decision regarding Elroy after she has spoken to Shireen. Midweek, on Wednesday, October 9th, Kitty's antics take Devilt and Sandy to the hospital, and it is very clear that Kitty will do anything to ensure she is the only woman in Devilt's life. An unknown person asks questions about Mercy, and Jason and Marco are shocked when they find out who it is. Edmund's trust in Anton is wavering, and he words it to Shireen. Allison asks the family to reach out to Junior. By Thursday, October 10th, Marco thinks Grace is asking too many questions. Devilt asks Sandy a big question, and then Sandy meets Franzi for the first time. 
Edmund discusses his concerns regarding Anton with Devolt, and Devolt promises to do his homework on Anton Hovengar. Veronique is not happy about Alison moving closer to Junior, and she observes how Anton is making an impression on Hermine. Closing the week on Friday, October 11th, Grace meets Philip, and hears the finer details of Mercy's accident. Hermine and Anton's bond grows stronger, despite Rake trying to warn her against the man. Devil gets it from Franzi, while Joey also has a lot to say about Sandy's love life. Alistair asks Elroy for an accident. Monday, October 14, 2024 to Friday, October 18, 2024. When the new week unfolds on Monday, October 14, an accident is the least of Devil's concerns when Franzi and Kitty decide to form an alliance to curb his happiness, Napoleon distrusts Grace, and then more people find out who she really is. Joey clears the air with Devolt, Anton burrows his way deeper into the Murray family. Octavia is urgently looking for Dr. Pina. On Tuesday, October 15, Alistair is furious with Veronique for what she did. Armand warns Grace against CJ, but it has the opposite effect consequently, after Hermine finds Junior on the floor again, she begs Alison to care for him full-time, Joey and Debbie Lee insist that Grace stays with them. Reaching the middle of the week on Wednesday, October 16, Hermine and Anton share an intimate moment. Veronique gets her henchmen to help her outsmart Alistair, and she starts by hiding her injuries, Alison brings out the best in Junior, while Grace stands in for the cleaners at the Murray house, and it is very clear that she and CJ don't see eye to eye, Sandy does her best to get to know Franzi a bit better. By Thursday, October 17, the Murray household is a hotbed of schemes and deception. Rake is resolute in his mission to expose Anton's true nature, but then gets confronted, Veronique's plan to discredit Anton backfires spectacularly. CJ continues to ignore Grace. There is tension between Allison and Junior, Devolt attempts to justify his daughter and ex-wife's erratic behavior to Sandy, but to no avail. Octavia asks Dr. Pina for a session with her and Junior together. Ending the week on Friday, October 18, Kitty and Franzi's dinner plans with Sandy and Devolt is another disaster, and this time Sandy is blamed for an injury, Veronique and her family are hugely upset when Marco lands up in the hospital. Grace hears Mercy's voice for the first time, and CJ is shocked when Grace reveals her true identity to him, Hermine and Allison are taken aback when Junior is summoned to Dr. Pinar's practice. Monday, October 21, 2024 to Friday, October 25, 2024. Next, on Monday, October 21, Junior doesn't understand how Hermine could not have known about Octavia's phobia. Veronique tries to make peace with Alistair and tells him that she is done playing her games. Sandy decides to put Franzi in her place, and Devil supports her, but Kitty has had enough of this whole business. CJ sees Grace in a completely different light after he reads what she wrote in her notebook. Junior receives news regarding his battle with cancer. Turning to Tuesday, October 22, Veronique tries to find Patricia in the hopes that she will be able to help her deal with Alistair. Hermine is looking forward to the auction. And Junior is looking to the past for answers, he wants to find out what happened in the tie that Octavia left the farm. CJ tells Grace almost everything regarding Mercy's last few hours, while Joey warns Grace about CJ. Devolt is not going to dance to Kitty's drum, but then Sandy has an idea that sounds really good to him. Emotions run high on Wednesday, October 23rd, when Bismarck hears what his future looks like. Edmund informs Devolt and Rake of another suspicious transaction that makes him wonder what is going on. CJ teaches Grace to ride a bike, but Grace doesn't trust CJ's words or deeds. Veronique is starting to lose hope since she can't find Patricia. 
Devilt asked Sandy to take their relationship to another level. By Thursday, October 24, an unexpected kiss could complicate a relationship between two individuals. Hermine is very impressed with how things are going at the auction, and then an old friend surprises her. Marco struggles to make peace with the attack, but then there is more than one crisis that needs his attention. Anton's day changes drastically when a ghost from Alistair's past rocks up uninvited. When the week ends on Friday, October 25th, Alistair's past finally catches up with him at the auction, and he struggles to not break character in front of Patricia. Devilt and Sandy get a nasty surprise, Devilt's bags have been packed for him. Marco struggles to hide the truth from Grace. Veronique is shocked in Junior, he lets her know that he no longer has any need for her. Monday, October 28, 2024 to Thursday, October 31, 2024. Starting off the last week of October, on Monday, October 28, Marco warns CJ that Grace is looking for an answer while he is still dealing with his own emotions. Hermine comes to hear of Anton's financial problems and offers to help. Veronique is very concerned about Patricia when she agrees to go away with Alistair. Devilt and Joey bump heads at a dinner at the Seister house. Annette and the toy are back on Subotskluf, and they share their plans for the future with Edmund and Shireen. By Tuesday, Hermine wants to have a discussion with Annette, but Annette is not ready for it. Hermine is also highly suspicious of Anton and asks Rake to do some digging, and Rake's feedback is anything but positive. Edmund and Shireen deal with the aftermath of Annette's offer, while Junior just can't let go of the past. Marco's life comes to a standstill when he learns more shocking secrets. Sandy doesn't hold back when she confronts Joey regarding the previous night's fight. Spook makes his unwelcome appearance, and he is looking to Edmund for answers. The whole of Subotskluf is up in arms on Wednesday, October 30th, after what happened to Edmund, Edmund does not want to answer any questions, and Spook has no other choice but to lock Edmund up in jail. Veronique and Alistair's huge falling out leads to the truth. Marco no longer trusts his dad, and Sandy's dinner is ruined by a possible allergy. Ending the month on Thursday, October 31st, Marco no longer wants to live on Subotskluf, while Grace even Tully gets the chance to say goodbye to Mercy. Nena is shocked to find out who Veronique really is, and uses the information to her own advantage. Sandy is shocked by Devolt's decision, while Devolt has no idea how to prove Edmund's innocence. That's all we've got for now on Caldas von Gahema. Remember, you can catch new episodes every weekday on ETV at 6 p.m. Thanks for watching and being part of our Inside Scoop family. We'll be back soon with more updates, but until then, enjoy the drama and intrigue. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment to help us keep the inspiration flowing.